Switch me on. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is Not a Toy. My name is Matt, and first off, my apologies for the infrequency of my videos lately. I've had to push the channel to the back burner a little bit for some life issues that have been going on. Everything's cool, but I uh, just haven't had the spare time to be able to put up some videos that I've wanted to make. I've had a few purchases that I've wanted to show off to you guys, and uh, they're being pushed off mostly till next week, but I did have one thing that I was going to film next week that actually showed up in my Twitter feed and also on Instagram. Chris Stewart from Proton Charging and the Interdimensional Crossrip showed something that he recently bought, which was something that I recently bought. So before I become old news and not to just keep up with the Joneses, I did want to show off something I was very excited to get. On eBay, you can still buy these Lucky Token, Lucky Coins from the World's Fair in New York in 1964-1965. This is on the original postcard. It's got the little Unisphere logo there. You can see the remnants of the old tape. Mine still had the original tape on it when I bought it, but when it came in the package it didn't stick anymore. So I just put regular scotch tape on there to hold it in place, but there is a hole for this to fit in. Now, is this the one, the exact coin? from uh, the, the deleted scene in Ghostbusters that ended up in Ghostbusters Afterlife that Janine hands to Egon? Is this the one that is the prop that they use in Ghostbusters Afterlife, the same exact coin? I don't know that anybody knows for sure yet. This one probably is not. If you look at the back side of it, the ones that you see on screen have more words on it. This one is more, more into the pictures. So you have the Unisphere in the middle of that one. It does say Peace Through Understanding on the top and New York World's Fair on the bottom. And in the bottom, or I'm sorry, on the back, it says the New York World's Fair. And then again, it has the Unisphere on there with a couple of other designs as well. So no major words going across there. If we do figure out which one they used as a prop, I'm sure It'll be something that becomes um, collectible as well, but you can get these, the original ones with the postcard on it. I got mine for about $15 shipped on eBay. And there's still, last I checked, there were some that were on there. There'll be days where there aren't any, but you'll check back later and there's more up there. And usually you can get them for uh, $20 or less. So for something that was with the card on it helps to kind of make it more of a fun display piece. I couldn't resist paying 15 bucks so that I can put it back here with some of my collection for some of my afterlife stuff. Um, so yeah, wanted to show that off to you guys and just kind of give you the heads up. Go on eBay, look for not only Lucky Coin, but look for Lucky Token because a lot of times that's what the sellers are gonna put it under. And just put World's Fair uh, 1964 or New York World's Fair. There's a few different ways you can look it up. And um, a lot of them you might want to check sellers, uh, other uh, things that they're selling at the same time. And uh, you might, because this one wasn't the one I originally clicked on. It was a suggested one lower in the, the ad there. So I ended up buying this one instead, which was a better copy. So... Check it out if it's something you're interested in. It's a fun little collectible that you can kind of tie into Ghostbusters, whether it's the same exact prop they used in the movie or not. You can still headcanon it and say, hey, look, I got one of the lucky coins that Janine gave Egon. Isn't that cool? You know, impress your friends, show them off, be the first on your block, that kind of thing. So I'll have more videos coming up next week, um, a follow-up to the Alice straps and a few other things. So... Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and like I said, I'll be back, and I'll see you soon. Have a good day.